What is up, the void? <laughs> another day, another chance to dissect reality. Um, so, I hope that you're having a wonderful day, first of all. Today is quite overcast and like a little bit, a little bit misty. Um, so I'm, fr I'm feeling pretty uh, chill today. Had a little bit of soup and um, some coffee and just so cozy. So I'm not, I'm not very excitable. I don't. <laughs> I'm just very relaxed today. So take that with, um, take that as you may. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I am excited to continue. Um, even though I'm not feeling very excitable, I definitely am still feeling very contemplative and I thought about a lot. <laughs> so I'm excited to put it in. Um, looking at all of this, damn, let me, let me show you. It's, um, it's a lot to come back to every day. <laughs> um, I also, I saw this, oh, lo-fi, lo-fi. So I saw this. Yeah. I added this, which I think adds a lot to just over this mushroom cloud because I think that it got very visually busy. But I really like the way it looks with um, this background. It makes a big difference if I go like this. You see, it's a bit, it's a bit much. But with this. It really splits the foreground and the background. <laughs> so this is art. <laughs> it's become art now. <laughs> um, let's see. Should I put... Should this be expanded over? No, but it'll be a bit... Ooh. Okay, let's see how I feel about that. Purple. I do like the red. I do like the red. So this one just makes me smaller then. Yeah, it's kind of like a nat natural geographic thing. Oh, so I have a little bit of brain fog today, so... Um, yeah. Might trip over my words a little bit. That's okay, we have days like that, right? It's normal. So this is the seven deadly sins on the side. Sloth. Just rock. Isn't that nice? Oh, right. What is wrath? Is it trying to exert anger? Using your anger? No. That's not wrath. Do without the eye. Oh, it is. Oh, it's the seven deadly sins. Wrath is definitely something I have had to deal with a lot in my life. Yeah, it is wrath. This is wraith. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> That's a lot of wrath you got there, my guy. Hey, yo. Um, sloth. Sloth is one I've always had to deal with a lot for myself, for myself, and lust. Lust and oh, I already put sloth. Pride. I haven't really dealt with pride on my own. Reality. It's been for me lust, sloth, gluttony, and greed. Those are the ones that I've struggled with the most. So, so we'll make this book go out. Oh my goodness. 
how you spell it. My goodness, it is! <laughs> gotcha. Latin. Envy. Ooh. I have dealt with envy for sure. Myself, I've been envious. I really love these in um, in Full Metal Alchemist. That's how I know them so well. I love, I love Full Metal Alchemist. I think it is so beautiful. When I'm watching it, I'm just like, wow. How am I even lucky enough to witness how beautiful this anime is? Just the love in it, the you know, the world building, the relationships, the the, the characters are so loving, and they are so emotive especially for male characters to be so emotive that's so rare um like i said i i did study film so i do analyze film when i'm when i'm uh <laughs> watching it but i just love the characters in it and i love steampunk as well so the like the arm and they're like the fact that the girl is also like the mechanic of the arm it's so rare it's so that show is so out of reality in the way that it is written because these people aren't confined, like they're, they're, aren't put in boxes of normality, like how we would normally see a man, like this labeled thing. They they are free to like express themselves, and I really love that about that show. But I really love the uh, the concepts of the the seven deadly sins as well. I do mean Brotherhood, by the way. I haven't watched the other one. <laughs> yeah, I tried to watch the other one and I was like, wait a second. I cannot watch this because now it just feels wrong. Like, why are the characters acting different? So, yeah, I watched the Brotherhood. Um, but yeah, just a little bit about anime. Well, let's have a look at some of it. Oh, not so. Ah, oh, so glorious so cool dude i'm watching this and i just look at the animation i'm like this is so cool this, oh <laughs> and they like grow up as well it's it's not just like the series also excuse my dog if you can hear him it's a it's a it's a rainy day so he's he's sleeping <laughs> he's snoring um but yeah, the characters also like grow up over time, and oh, the music intros, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just freaking out about how much I love this show, but I love this show so much. And then this like father, oh, I should watch this again with my new perspective. I watch it at least every few years, and Ratatouille as well. I watch, I ra watch Ratatouille and Mulan at least once a year, and then I watch Fullmetal Alchemist every few years once I've forgotten. A lot about it, but oh my goodness, so cool. I'm worried about my doggy. All right, so this is a fair game. I wanted to look into advertising because that's the weapon. <laughs> the weapon. Um. No, but it kind of is. It kind of is. That's how the rich get richer, is they make you perception aware. Um, because when you're perception aware, you feel a lot of fear. You feel not good enough. You feel this need to climb the status hierarchy. They're pointing out this emptiness inside of you, and they are saying that they have a solution for it. They are saying that you are... It's so ironic because in a society that's so in denial of death, so in denial of mortality, we still have these things flashed around us all the time because we are afraid and we are afraid of death. So there's still these things that show us that we are tied to our, as Ernest Becker said, our creatureliness. And an example of that would be advertising that has to do with like food. Like there's always this look, look how delicious this is. And that's just trying to get you 
to acknowledge the fact that you need to eat or you will die. <laughs> like, I know that seems like a far stretch, but why else? Why else are we so gluttonous? So obsessed with food? We're obsessed with food and we're obsessed with sex and we're obsessed with money and, and power and all of these things, dude. Like, why? Why? Like, you can see it in the way we feel so empty, so we try to fill our animalistic desires with, you know, oh, I must, I'm, it's kind of like when a baby is crying and you're like, why is it crying? Let's give it food, <laughs> you know? That's kind of how I see humanity a lot of the time. It's like, um, why do I feel so empty inside? Maybe I'm craving sex. <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm craving power. It's like no, you're craving connectedness with everything around you. You feel like this isolate thing, this thing that's separate. You're lonely. You're so lonely, and you're you you're in these environments because that's what we've created. These environments of solitude. You know, we all just sit alone, disconnected from the world, and everything is superficial and. We don't see our friends because there's not enough time, there's not enough time because we're wasting our time traveling and going to do these pointless jobs and so we feel so disconnected and no one actually sees us because we all are fake in this hierarchical society. We have pretentious masks that we wear so that people don't push us down the hierarchy. You have to maintain this level of perfection. And so, even when we do see our friends, it's on a very superficial level because you first have to get used to them in front of you because you haven't seen them for so long. And then you have to spend the time catching up on their life because you haven't seen them for so long. And you never actually get to the point where you're just like, you know, Mad Man, I feel, I feel really scared and stuff, you know? I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel lonely. I feel separate. I feel... Like, I need to constantly numb myself with drugs and... <laughs> if your friend is like that... <laughs> Imagine. All at once, it just says everything. Your friend just says everything at once. Like, I feel awful. Um, but it's true. And so advertising is like, Listen, we know you're feeling empty. Perhaps this will fix the problem. Look at all this food. Look at all this, look at this sexy body over here. Don't you want a sexy body? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Perception awareness. Creaturely awareness, actually, in a way. You know, it's it's very, it's like points to our animalistic side. And it's like food. Animals are, f like, they need food and they need, like, sex and they need, like, you know... They need these things, so you must need these things. <laughs> it's like, no, humans are more complicated than that, dude. But it works, it works, because we're also empty, so it works. Um, but yeah, I wanted to put that down. Perception, awareness. to get like oh wait I know how I can fix this problem I can just do this move these over aha there we go <laughs> now I can see Yes, this is what I need. Cool. This is cool. This is claymation. What else do you have, Trent? This is really cool. Ooh, spooky. Claymation always freaks me out. <laughs> it's so real. This stuff is so cool. 
my goodness. Wow. Whoa, dude. It even winks at the end. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> is this blood? Okay, now this is getting creepy. This is getting... <laughs> no, I'm afraid. I'm getting afraid. Oh, it's Joker. Cool, dude. Okay, there's definitely darkness in this person. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? What's your name? <laughs> Trent. <laughs> Trent. Trent, what the heck is this? Hmm? I guess I guess it freaks me out because you're like um, playing with the idea of human beings being like kind of fragile and on the inside we have like these organs and stuff and like that that freaks people out because we don't like to think of our selves as being a point in the universe actually that's what really freaks us out that we're, we're trapped inside of our own bodies that are susceptible to to pain oh, i'm in a philosophical mood <laughs> um I love how there's like happy and there's like the TV and then when you scroll down it's like goodness what is happening <laughs> what is happening oh no <laughs> um but your stuff is cool man I dig it I dig it definitely scares me a little bit some of it's very scary but I just fight play animation scary as well so oh, getting copyright with the TV shortcut for going backwards. Oh, I opened the new photo display. Drag this. <laughs> no. Oh well. It's really cool, but I don't think it's gonna. This is not gonna get me an aesthetic. Now I have this, an aesthetic. I can't. <laughs> I gotta keep with the aesthetic. That is what I need, though. It's like a TV with a blurred out. I mean, cut out uh, inside. Oh, digital. Whoa. Damn, Chewy. Damn, boy, you're sleeping. <laughs> you're really sleeping. I guess it's on your <laughs> a banana. You will eat the banana. You will use the banana as a, me a measurement tool. <laughs> That's how I th felt like when um I was on I was on nine gag for a bit, and it was very first of all it's quite misogynistic and there weren't a lot of um. There wasn't a lot of nice comments in that on that, but I did like the memes. Um, <laughs> but they used bananas for everything to measure everything. <laughs> it was just like this is strange. This is a strange 
a strange thing. You know? What is this? Absolute chaos. Do to us. Oops. We can make another <coughs> another kind of so let's make this one that and this one is <coughs> this is advertising. You know, it's something that I actually noticed a while back. I was like, I had this whole thing where one night I just didn't sleep because it, ca it, it occurred to me that everything, everyone who's rich right now, maybe not everyone, but the largest companies are platforms of advertisements. <laughs> And adverts are a type of propaganda because, if we look at the definition of propaganda... Information, especially of a bias or misleading nature used to promote political cause or points of view. Um, hmm. Perhaps not, then maybe it's not propaganda. But it does make us perfect per perception aware though. Maybe this is what comes up because Google is <laughs> running adverts. Manipulate other people's beliefs. Yes, it is. It's a form of manipulation, right? And it's fear-based because it's like because a lot of propaganda in history has been like, oh, they're they're gross, or you should join the army so that we don't get annihilated. <laughs> it's like um, it's fear-based. And advertising tries to manipulate you. It's media that's manipula uh, manipulative. Hmm. Okay, but this color we can make what color can advertising oh that's such a nice color teal right excuse me <laughs> Thank you. 
this layer. And let's do the fonts. <clears throat> and now we can make this. This next, this one, this one looks like a teal, but not the same, this, this teal's a bit much, oh, that's nice, ooh, that's very nice, goes nicely with the color, ooh, the purple actually goes really nice here. Okay, flames. <laughs> you can be excused now. You can go on this side and get back to your sullen ego stuff. Although. She's looking. It's kind of like a byproduct. this to you. So let's bring this pride down a bit. So cool, dude. So fair game, dude. It's just like burning in there. Yeah. That's sick. It's really cool. Oh, it was a little bit in the way. Probably. Oh, it has to. Slop is just gonna be burning. <laughs> no. oh, I do want the, the sky. This is per perception awareness.
Yeah, I was actually looking at this the other day and I scrolled and I scrolled on this. I made it full screen. I was like, am I making a film? <laughs> like at the end of this, I'm going to explain everything and then this is why I need this because when I when I do like um, make it full screen. Um, how do I? This one was one of these ifs. Was it the living? Okay, I just forgot how to do this. I suppose it's not too important. Just like this, and then I go like. That's that's cool, huh? In a godless world, man worships himself. Status, legacy, the game, the, the rules of the game. How we see losers, how we see winners, the goal, fame, money, power. We want perfection, perception, possession, distraction, consumption, power, sensory stimulation. And we say it's a fair game, dude. Advertising. <laughs> you see what I mean? I was like, is this a pr is this a presentation? <laughs> I feel like you could probably stitch together all the times I've been like, what is this? Is this a? Because I feel like you know, um, is this a bird? Is this a plane? Like, what? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. But I was like doing that, and I was like, this is so cool. I think that's so cool. More perception. Hey, wait. Some of these things are gone. There we go. Hello. I saw some of them here too. What's going on here? Oh no, is the mirror board like here? This is a lot. <laughs> it could be. I don't know if it's used to holding so much information. some text um Oops, no, that went the wrong way. Make him full. And then do as you wish. Something is something weird is happening. <laughs> Where did my text go? Hmm. Hello.
be nice to be able to perception awareness. I'm thinking about scarcity-based fear a lot as well, because that's what's... I feel like that's where a lot of our fear comes from, it's just not enoughness, not enough. Scarcity. It's all a scarcity. Based off of time. Because I really have been, think like, examining myself. Just the, you know, studying myself. People around me as well, but definitely more myself, and I'm like, hmm. I just did a time jump in my head, based off of a... Uh, Perception-based fear um, of not being good enough. That's scarcity. That's ego. That's time madness. It's like, oh yeah, no, that does that does make sense. <laughs> oh, you know, the other one was actually really ominous because it was like, make them afraid. this needs something to kind of draw it into the- I think it feels a little bit out of place right now. So, if this was Photoshop, I would just add like a manipulative layer. Why am I not doing this in Photoshop, actually? That would make more sense. <laughs> um, my a mirror is nice because it's like you stick everything down, you know, it's- it's nice for mind mapping and stuff, so... Make them afraid and they will do anything to feel safe again. Also, I was thinking about emotions and how... What's that law of every action comes with an equal and opposite reaction? What is that? Is that Isaac Newton? No, Google, not now. <laughs> um. Ah! Newton's third law. I love this. So this is really important because what it means is that people who exert power feel powerless. Power is, in a sense, a an outcome of powerlessness. You know, being afraid like, control, security, is 
a product of fear. Every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Feeling angry comes from being threatened. So all these people that are the worst kinds of people are on the inside the most afraid, the most insecure. Because every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And I suppose the logical outcome for what I'm, I'm doing is for every emotion, there is an equal and opposite Okay, but this is where it gets tricky because I feel love and I express love but when you're afraid you, ex you express taking so there's a difference there it's for every fear based emotion for every perception based emotion there is an expression hmm. this is tricky this is tricky you see because I don't I don't I don't express the opposite of how I'm feeling so that that, that train of logic is kind of becomes a bit murky at that point love gives love hate gives hate all expression is projection <gasps> that's a nice one <laughs> That makes more sense. Expression is projection. It's projection. <laughs> Just giffy human. Let's see what comes up here. Oh my goodness. I still love this stuff, dude. It's been the human. This actually does remind me of Adventure Time. Maybe that's where I get that from. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? <laughs> what is going on there? That's quite the artwork. Oh, what is this? I love its butt. Oh no. That's something. Um. Hmm. Yay, we're back on this page. I like this page. Oh no! Oh, he's, he's, he's going again. <laughs> yes, I used that for that guy. I do like this. This is like quite... Ooh, cool. That's so cool. Wooshty, <laughs> wooshty, I like that. Dude, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting they're dancing, and this is getting me pumped up. This is exciting. It's exciting. This is what I'm talking about. This is what being a human is about. All the strangeness. Let's just dance through the strangeness. I do like this one. 
Oh damn, dude, we're getting... <laughs> the more you click on things, the more absurd it becomes. Which is awesome. Dude, I love this. It's just getting weirder and weirder. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna use this guy. Expression is projection. Um, what just happens when you click on stickers? Cool. All the stickers. You see this <clears throat> I don't agree with saying fight together. You don't you don't win wars, you don't stop wars by fighting. That's why wars exist. You stop wars by seeing that war is silly, by seeing that peace is better, by spreading peace, not fighting to stop wars. That's such a paradox, it's such a contradiction. That's not that's competition. Fighting is competition. You're trying to exert power based off of a scarcity. That's not... That's not the way to change things. So I disagree. <laughs> not fight together. I disagree, Gippy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what is happening? This is a lot of political stuff that I'm seeing right here. Um, this is, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Holy goodness. Okay, hmm. I think this is all the stickers though, so I could scroll forever. What I want is... Whenever I look at reality too much, it hurts my brain because I start to analyze it so much. I just, what I'm looking for is like some kind of cone kind of thing. Because I want it to show that we create from our feelings. Express. All expression is projection. Dude, that's such a cool... This is a cool sentence. I love that sentence so much. All expression is projection. Because it's so true. <laughs> it's so true. Uh. Check me out. You don't really belong in the advertising. So, <clears throat> the type of adverts you get. You get status. Okay. Status-based things are beauty, I do like this. Weird in pink. I'm just gonna use this, please. 
There's beauty, then there's <clears throat> possession. Looking for a fancy car. Fancy car, fancy car, fancy car. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, this is kind of. Yeah, this is. Oh no. <laughs> this is a lot of ugly, all inspirational stuff. Oh, I don't want to say ugly though, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're not ugly. You just look uninspired is all I'm trying to say. Um, I don't want to criticize you though. so weird that we're mocked fancy cars every single day, but when I, when I try to find just a picture of it, then it's the Motia. That's so weird. There's like two realities. There's like the, the reality where we're constantly told we're not good enough, and then the reality of the people where they feel not good enough and they express all of this, but they don't know why, why, they're, what, why they're feeling that way. So they don't actually draw like fancy car, for instance. They just kind of want a fancy car. But it's one step away from worship, I suppose. We have begun to worship Stanek. This is so cool. Hmm. another website where I can find a bus for commercial use for free <laughs> please EMG tree okay yeah this is this is okay oh it just searched commercial use um I'm looking for a fancy one, but it seems like it's either way too shiny. Oh my goodness, this is gonna get me in trouble. Stop showing my email. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good idea, yo. <gasps> so much going on. Oh, here's one. There's one, sure. I'm hiding it as if you haven't seen it 16 times, Void. Oh no, what is this? <laughs> oh, P and G. P 
D&D Tree's 5th Anniversary and 89% of Lifetime Plan. I mean, do you see there's a scarcity happening here? With the, the clock that's ticking down? Privilege? Discount as well, because we're all in search of, of value. So... When I see advertising, I also become destructive. Lifetime plan. See, you're you're making a big saving, and I love how in in adverts it's always like this crown, or lots of brands like to use a crown in their design because we are all in a sense trying to become little kings of our realities, and so in adverts you'll see like crowns and like they're supposed to be curly fonts or fancy fonts, which is weird. It reminds me of when I was in Nelspreet. And I was, um, I was just working and I had classical music playing and then my little cousin said British music, like why are you listening to British music? And it's because the British accent and curly words and crown and classical music, these are all seen as symbols of, um, elegance of, um, image, like, like, intellectual image i suppose and so there's these crowns everywhere and i just i laughed when my when my cousin called classical music british music because you can see in their head they're already starting to put symbols to things which is interesting and here we see this is the privilege you get <laughs> privilege you know we actually want privilege like we like to say in our society that oh people are just like privileged and whatever but we all want to be privileged we don't want equality and then there's unlimited downloads forever unlimited because we feel limited um, by our time so the word unlimited is appealing to us even though we aren't going to be here forever we're like wow I can do this forever <laughs> like that's great you know permanent access to all our products forever oh I want to exist forever I don't want to die valid commercial licenses forever like you wouldn't need it forever anyway so that what's wrong my boy like this is just you know the absurdity and then there's that big buy now button buy now button and then there's the I know Ugh, weird and then the, the balloons and everything is a symbol of celebration like so let's celebrate that you are getting this amazing offer it's making you aware that you need this it's trying to say that you need this a scarcity based off of perception because it's saying that you 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 need this Do I get it? <laughs> Attribution required. Dude, okay, I'm gonna go see what's up with my doggy because he's crying. Void. Well, I did take a longer break than I thought. And I um, made some dinner, made some vegetables, uh, played with my dog a little bit. It's nighttime, and um, yeah, it's getting pretty chilly. <laughs> um, but it's really cozy and I made some coffee now. So, where was I? For you, it was one second. For me, it was like, uh, uh, like two hours. Two hours. Alrighty, so, we're looking at cars. <laughs> right. Um. Um. This is an ad. <laughs> You see, the problem with our society as well is everything is trying to manipulate me. It's trying to manipulate me and try to take things from me, do things to me. Oh. Music? I forgot about the music. <sighs> That's nice. That's so nice. Oh wait. <laughs> it's literally 
actually giving me a stick. PG is fun. Cool. This is cool. Um. You know what? I actually was thinking about it, and what I want to do is make make my whole thought process so far visible. Instead of building onto it and making more things where I have to do the thought process and then make it visible at once. I'm gonna first do the thought process, then make it visible. But I have done a bit when it comes to what human beings are. So I wanted to start there. Well, that's not gonna do anything. Um, I want a point. Like, um... <laughs> what is happening? Oh, this is so cute. Who is this? I love the character design. Wow, waffle. That's really cool. Okay, but I don't really want someone pointing though. Um, what I'm looking for is like. Kind of how I see this, the first poster explaining that we're mobile sensory points. I think of, actually, funny enough, I think of Full Metal Alchemist and that scene where he goes into the door and there's like, I am God, I am you, <laughs> like that kind of vibe. Um, Like this kind of simplicity, simplicity, all, all just shapes, forms, white, kind of like a. Um, is this a religion? <laughs> am I making a religion? What am I doing? Oh, the existentialism that I feel, you know? I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> what am I making? Um, <laughs> cool. No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should draw it. Yeah. <sighs> I can use my tablet. second void I know I just <laughs> I just came back but okay this is good there's no like weird um free bounce work stuff let's see this is a good thing to work with but okay before I before I get the pen I don't need it yet I'm thinking it's like working straight on the background there. I don't know what I'm doing. Comes <laughs> first. Let's make a ball. Excuse me. Um, okay, so we paint a ball. Oop. We want shading on top of it. So that makes it a sphere.
Oopsie. Oh, yes. This is kind of what I'm going for. And then I went like... <laughs> Calm down, me. Calm down. <laughs> or else the words just aren't gonna come out. Um, okay, let's look for... Let's look for space. I want it to be... This is so cool. Can I copy this? Hmm. Dude, wow. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Wow. <gasps> this is so beautiful. I'm gonna take this in for a second. Beautiful. Wow. There we go. It's like space clouds. That's why I like it so much. I love clouds, and this is like space clouds. <laughs> yes. It kind of looks a little bit orga or like organy. <laughs> I don't want to say organic because <laughs> that's not the word, but yeah. Oh, we just want, oopsie, we just want that to be affected. And then this, parts in the universe. Okay, but obviously that's not gonna look nice. Um, we just... But I guess because th this is just... This might actually be enough for now. Hmm. I have these cool brushes that I got. brushes from the game design but I got these cool like Hello. oh I was on a razor always check that Cool. <gasps> I've also got these cool circles. Ooh. <laughs> Some of them are so cool, like. circle around this. Hello. I guess I can just... Oh, <laughs> Photoshop's so cool, dude. Hmm. 
sogar ein Brushes. Can you use these lime things? But we're going for simplicity. So I wanted to also make like kind of a vignette. Dissolve because it gives me a, like a, a sense that this is made up of like at atoms and stuff. <laughs> when there's shading on the outside of the screen. On the outside of the screen! <laughs> uh, so that you have a focal point. Yes. Oh, this looks sick, dude. careful of slouching when I'm at the computer. I spend a lot of my time at the computer, <laughs> so I've spent a lot of time. Oh. Oh, that's very voidy, huh? You voidy? Don't you like that? <laughs> this is very much your vibes. Whoa, dude. So cool. This is very... This is very godly. <laughs> The simplicity of that. Um, what I wanted to add was actually Simple. Simple. I like it. So. Yeah, 
guess I don't name my uh, Photoshop layers other artists out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. I like this. Oh, it got it to one layer. <laughs> got a white rectangle now. Guess I'll just merge these so I can copy it. Go. I don't like it to be all mystical and stuff. So this is gonna be like I don't know. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna flow down and like be that thing that I was talking about earlier. So when I explain my perspective, I can just use like all of this as um, a backdrop. So that will be. Really cool. And I think I'm gonna need a let's see, I need this. Hmm, nice. Hmm. Yeah, but it's one be straight by ego. So let's just move him up a bit. Start from the beginning. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Expressive perspective? Like, I'm thinking, is that what this should be called? I think so. Is this green? Yeah. Hello. Did I lock you? Oh. Maybe this should be black. Just put it at the beginning.
this is So the advertising one said and the Listen to Hey, uh, sorry about that. Um, we had load shedding, which is when our power goes out. Um, so I'm gonna carry on now, but um, yeah, I did change and stuff, so <laughs> you know, um, my pajamas now is quite late, but I wanted to carry on, so. struggling a bit with everything that's going on. So, I know I normally say mobile sensory points, but I think that It'd be more impactful if I do it logically by every single um, step because human beings are points in the universe, human beings are mobile points in the universe, human beings are mobile sensory points in the universe. Like just breaking it down logically, I want people to be like aware that it's based off of logic because it is we are points in the universe at least by, by the very least you know <laughs> can we agree on that is what i'm trying to say <laughs> Sex box is so weird. Why do you make it look weird?
think I should actually I'm gonna make frames on the side to help me with the layering in this program because it's not really made to have so many layers, but there's a workaround. Oopsie. Start placing the leaves. Heading. I don't know what this what this is. Is this the dis the deconstruction of human existence? <laughs> that seems a bit intense, dude. is I think that this, this thing you do, put it in a UV beetle. Oh, but I can make this dramatic as well, like the way the other ones are. I was just thinking, you know, I'm wanting to reach the most amount of people. And people don't read books, people don't even watch documentaries actually. But maybe if I made this in the format of... Because cause something my, my ex said was actually that he could follow along nicely with the Instagram stories because they were so... What's the word? 
simple, I suppose? It was simple and short. Short and sweet, I guess. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to make this type of media that's easy to consume. My ideas. I suppose that's what I'm doing, right? But I was just thinking if I should make the... Um, these things into like text boxes? I don't know if that... Because if I go with that, then it will leak into everything. So it's a big, it's a big design choice. Um, a layout. Format? Format choice. Yes. decide that later I think. For now, let's just put it down. This just gives me text vibes I guess as well. I space out the words and the thoughts as if this were okay if it if I'm gonna make it accessible then perhaps a book is even not a good idea because like I said before people don't read and even though I want to write a book <laughs> and I've written one chapter I don't know if that's the best way to go because if you want something to be accept accessible um, I guess it's got to be free. So maybe if I make like a PDF and use space as like, like space in the pictures and the thoughts as like spaces between words, I suppose, so people have the time to think about what I'm saying point by point. Like that might be cool. So I do, I'm scrolling. Maybe this is where I should put expressive. Yeah, I need like a like a dot dot dot, but so I'm kind of writing writing this way.
position shifted because of unity. It's tripping, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That looks cool. like that. For space. Just chapter one. <laughs> is that what this is? Um. This is so cool. So philosophical. I love me some philosophy. <laughs> you keep pushing the wrong buttons. There you go. Dude, it's lagging so much. Oh, that's so cool. The expressive perspective. need to have more than one Miro board, I suppose. Right, because this is lagging quite a bit. Oh no. Is it my mouse? Um, I think I'm gonna go get a wired mouse. I do have wired mouses, but the problem is... Well, the problem is that... 
like my hands are really small <laughs> and so when I use wired mouses or at least the ones that we have they're quite big and it really hurts my hand when I use it a lot but I, I don't think that this is a good idea when I'm recording so much because I don't know, it's like the never-ending story of the, <laughs> the broken mouse. I'm sure it gets exhausting to see. Um, so I'm gonna try solve the problem and if my hand starts hurting then... Uh, you know, I have to try to fix the uh, the Bluetooth one, but... Yeah, um... In case I don't come back, uh, it takes me too long to get the mouse, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching, man, and um... I hope that you have a wonderful day. Um, remember to look after yourself, remember it's not your fault, and that it's a really mad world out there. And, um, yeah man, thanks for watching, eh? Uh, yeah. Have a wonderful day.